Hey, 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 what's going on? This is China. Um, just here to drop a little video. It's going to be quite extensive. But um, about this whole Baltimore situation. I know you're probably like, well, China, you in California. What you know about Baltimore? I'm Baltimore bred. Wilson Park, York Road, Drew Hill Park, Liberty Heights, Mondawmin Mall, Towson, Randallstown, Glen Burnie, North Avenue, 27th Street. I know all about Baltimore, Monroe Street, McHenry Street, South Baltimore, the crab houses. Come on. I'm a Baltimore baby. We didn't have barbecues. We had picnics and we'd have big tables with newspaper all over it, and it was all crabs. That's how you do it in Baltimore. But I want to talk about this whole situation about the riots and, and what's happening. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos where people are talking about the riots and what's happening. But my whole situation is the degrading race war as far as people sitting behind their keyboards talking about look at these niggas uh, look at these animals they're fucking uh, disgusting you know what's disgusting is you're sitting there talking about us like that instead of out there helping the situation you want to talk shit about the situation instead of helping us solve the problem that African Americans are experiencing every day you want to give them shit about them fighting for their freedom and their This is land of the free, home of the brave, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. So when we express ourselves, we're animals and we're disgusting. Right? When we get into race conversations and we bring up slavery, y'all y'all need to just get over that. Well, you wasn't the one hype. you wasn't the one being hung from a tree. You wasn't the one getting your skin scraped off and boiled in oil. You wasn't the one getting raped and molested. You wasn't the, the one being degraded and humiliated and having having your, your body carved up and scarved and being attacked by dogs. See, you wasn't the one going through that. We were. Because see, my pain stems from my family's pain. My great-grandmother, my great-great-grandmother, my grandmother, their pain is my pain. That is passed down in our blood. And I don't think you understand that. So when you tell us to get over it, we want to, we like to, we don't like that pain. We don't want to experience that pain. We don't want to keep bringing up slavery in conversation. We don't want to keep bringing up what you did to us in the past. But see, what you don't understand, there are things that are in the past. But with us, our past is our present. Because you're still calling us niggas. Down south, you're still lynching us. They found a brother hanging. They dragged one until his head almost came off. We're still experiencing pain. There's so much pain. We experience so much pain. And y'all don't listen to us. We really want to get over slavery. We really want to get over race wars. But we can't. You know why? Because every time the TV comes on, or every time we go to watch a movie, guess what it's about? It's a fucking slavery movie. It's about how many years as a slave or the fucking maid or driving a white woman around or roots. Y'all been putting this shit in our face for years. How can we get over it if you keep putting it in our face for years and then you keep replaying it on TV and, and in movies? How can we get over it? You don't give us awards for anything except for acting like a Negro or nigger. Acting like a nigga. I love it. Just raw, rough black man. Just raw. Give him an award. Or we're acting like slaves. See, we act like slaves in a movie. You give us an award for being a fucking slave. For being a maid. For being brutalized and, and, and traumatized. And then we win an Oscar or Golden Globe. Oh, the performance was brilliant. No, motherfucker. That's our life. That's our ancestors. That's our pain. When we leave the fucking movie theater, we're angry because you're looking at our pain. You ran Schindler's List one time you put that shit on. T I haven't seen that shit in almost 10 years, probably. But you want to keep putting our pain on screen and then expect us to get over it. If that's not as backwards to you, I, I, I can see how you don't understand what we do. Fuck the riots in Baltimore. Because the riots in Baltimore is all about property damage because all you keep talking about is fucking property damage. 
Oh, they're destroying their own neighborhoods. Oh, they're tearing down these buildings. Fuck a building. What about the man that got his legs broke and his back broke in three places and his spine almost severed from his fucking skull by police brutality? What about the gentleman who got shot eight times in the back and then the cop walked over with the goddamn taser and threw it by his body and said he was attacked? What about the old white woman who attacked the, her, her neighbors and shit and, and did all this and stopped their cars and blocking them and hitting them with sticks and the whole nine? Then when the people showed up, she was like, oh, I fear for my life. You were attacking these black folks. They weren't attacking you. They weren't even fucking with you. You went over there and fuck with them and then scream, oh, rape, just like they did in the old days. See, when a white man raped a white woman, the white woman would scream, oh, rape. The black man did it. And that's what's happening in a day. There's so much pain. We as African Americans have so much pain. And you guys are in denial about our pain. Denial means to ignore the sound of the truth. So you're always in denial. And AAA isn't a tow truck company. AAA is accountability, acknowledgement, and acceptance. You won't do any of these, which is why there's so many problems. We're not saying give us 40 acres and a mule, but God damn it. Help us out, man. Stop killing us. When we march in peace, right? MLK marched in peace and you shot him dead. Mega Evers, you shot him dead. Malcolm X, shot him dead. I mean, I can just keep going down the list of every time that we try to do things Without violence, you greet us with violence. You have been killed. Trayvon Martin killed. His killer is still on the streets. Cops break into a house. They shoot a eight, what an eight-year-old girl, I think she was. Shoot her in the head. They get off. Oh, sorry, we went into the wrong house. You broke into the wrong house, killed a little girl, and my bad. She's not coming back. But no, you black folks can't be angry about that. You broke a man's legs and damn near severed his head from his spine. The girl who was sleeping in her car, sleeping in her car for protection. She had a little gun on her lap and she was just sleeping in the car. Y'all riddled her with bullets. Get a gun! And just riddled her with bullets. And found out later what the reason was. You hunt us like animals. It's always hunting season. It's always open season on African Americans. And a lot of whites can't understand that. So they don't understand why we get mad and get hostile. And they don't understand, like, how can they do that? Because it's not fucking you. We don't have white privileges. If me and you are walking down the street and I'm walking next to you like this, guess who they're going to fuck with? They're going to grab the young brother at college. All the white dudes were fighting at the college. They were pissed off about some shit that happened at the school. So they break out into this big brawl and everything is going on. The young black dude had his book bag. He had even nothing to do with that. He was going on his way to class or to work, I think he was going. Cops came through the white crowd, all the fighting, fucked everybody else, tackled the black dude by himself and went in on him. To the point that even the white dude stopped fighting and tried to protect the black dude because they were like, why are you beating this dude up? We're the ones over here fucking up. They didn't even try to listen to what these people were telling him. It's not him. He has nothing to do with it. It's not. It's us. And they're still fighting around him. No, y'all like fucking with us. You like beating us. Uh, the black, the young black, not young black, gentleman, older black gentleman that they pulled out was like Lincoln Cadillac or something. They beat him, and the guy grabbed him by his head and beating him all in his head, and the other one stomping him and punched him and ripping his arm back and choke holding him. And then a video surfaces that these same cops show him bringing the black man into the uh, holding cell. And they're bumping fists and they're laughing and all that. And the one cop jumps on the bench and shows how he was doing the black guy when they were arresting him. This is what we're talking about. See, this is the shit you don't see. This is the shit you don't experience. You want to walk around and, and spit our language. You know what I mean? You want to use our urban dictionary. You want to be tatted up like, you know, we do. And you want to wear your hat sideways and the gold chains and you want to you want, you want to throw up the west side signs you want to be hip and cool but you won't walk in our shoes when shit hits the fan you want to be like us in the commercials and in the movies you want to be cool you want to be you want to have swag and you want to have flavor y'all but you won't 
fight with us when it's time to fight. When it's time for our freedom, y'all don't want to fight for that. Y'all wear our shoes for anything else, but when we walk down the street, you lock your fucking doors. Or you grab your purse. But yet you on movies ripping off your shirt like Superman and you're saving the day and you're the gods and kings of everything in the movies and you're just the stars and you sell everywhere overseas because, you know, black people, we don't go overseas. We've never been overseas and we don't sell overseas. So it's all about you guys. But then in the real world, you hiding in your house, peeping out your curtain. What happened to all that superpower that you had on the movie and the TV and all the flips and kicks and the shit you were doing and saving the galaxy and the, you, what happened to all that? Read something to you. Peaceful protesters protest. They send in some blacks and some whites to incite a riot in a peaceful protest. We didn't want to fight. We didn't want to start riots because y'all like to call us animals and riots. Y'all like to use those words together. While we were having a peaceful protest, you embedded enticers within us to start a riot so the police would have a reason to use force and violence against us see y'all don't want peace there will never be peace because y'all don't want peace every time we try to use peace y'all face us with war then when we get tired of you killing us and we face you with war you don't even want peace you want to bring in more war I've never heard of that you know what would calm me down my grandmother, if you brought my grandmother out there, like, my grandmother came out there, like, boy, and I'm like, what my grandma doing here? Oh, hell no. Riot days are done. I'm not throwing any more shit. I'm going to see my grandma wants, well, you got to cut that out, and I'll try to explain to her what the situation is and let her break down the history of whatever the problem is. But y'all want to come in with bigger guns, bigger tanks. Y'all see that that's not the answer. That's not going to work. Violence with violence never works. Listening to us works. What's that old saying? Two eyes to see more. Two holes in your nose to breathe more. Two ears to hear more. One mouth to speak less. But you don't use any of that because you don't see the problem. You don't listen to the problem. You won't even breathe the air that we are in. But you speak a whole lot out of your mouth about us. That's not nice. Our physical attributes are even a problem. It's not our fault. Do you remember when you took us and made us slaves? You would take the strongest black person and, and made them with the strongest black woman. And then you would breed the strongest black children because they can work longer and stronger in the field. So what do you think is going to happen in this day and age? You create superhumans. So in sports, of course, we're going to be superhumans. And anything we do that has something to do with something physical, we're going to be superhumans. It's not our fault. A lot of shit that's happening is not our fault. But I want to read something to you. White people who do what we do are called revelers, celebrants, fans, unruly participants. See, when we do something in Baltimore, we rioted in 1968. Now we're rioting in 2015. Let's see what the white folks do. 2014. San Francisco Giants. That's what happened. Not rioters, fans, as the Chronicles noted, the San Francisco Chronicles noted, 40 arrests, two shootings, and fan robbery. Couches were burned, buildings were hit, graffiti, businesses were torn down. The whole incident was not cited as a riot. 2011, Stanley Cup Finals. 100 arrests, people were arrested, 150 injured, 15 cars. Vandalism, approximately 50 businesses, total damages was in the millions. ESPN did not note this as a riot. 2015, NCAA football championship. Fans set nearly 90 fires, tore down an Ohio Stadium goalpost, according to the AP. They weren't called rioters or animals. Denver Broncos wins the Super Bowl. Property damage stemming from this was 160000 but it wasn't called a riot. Instead, a, spokes, a spokesman for the city mayor called participants hell-bent on causing trouble. Let's see. 
the Stanley Cup Finals. According to ESPN, it's 2.5 million in damages, 168 people were arrested, 158. Just so you can see, I'm not lying. There's a police car, it's tore up. They got it in. Riding. You don't see no black, no black folks at the Stanley Cups. They're getting it in. But nobody's saying anything. Burning down cars. These cats are even posing. No, nothing there. But see, when we fight for our freedom, problem. Penn State. Joe Paterno fired amidst a child sexual abuse scandal. Let's see what they say about this. News outlet described the situation and other stories included a report as unruly protests, not a riot, a clash with police. Now, this was $190,000 in total. The Patriot News called this fans tipping over news vans and other unruly fans doing more damage. I mean, basically, they're still not calling the riot. Let's see. Tiger wins World Series. Baltimore Sun. Rates were reported. One person died. 80 were injured after the Detroit Tigers had won their first World Series in a decade. Baltimore Sun. Getting it in. White Cat showing that he's pissed off. I mean, Boston Red Sox won the World Series. You know ain't no brothers at the Boston Red Sox. So they reported that it was crowd vandalism, set fires, overturned cars, eight people were arrested, one woman, journalism, Victoria... Uh, Snowgrove died after police pepper sprayed the projectile that uh, fatally struck her in the head. Pumpkin Festival. There are no brothers at the Pumpkin Festival. Ah, oh, let's see. CNN noted that those students nearby at the college, let's see, started fires, flipped cars, police cars, tore down street signs. One participant, he's called a participant, not an animal or disgusting told CNN that revolting from the cops was was a rush because it's a blast doing things you aren't supposed to do. Revolting from the cops is a rush from doing something you're not supposed to. We don't even like the cops. We don't want to be around the cops. When we see cops coming, we turn down other streets. Comedians will tell you, anytime comedians talk about police, they're always talking about they going right or left, but they getting the fuck out of the way of the cops because we don't like that. Thank God that we do have supernatural strength because we can run our asses off because we don't want to be involved. We don't like going outside in fear of our life every day of being murdered and killed. But see, you don't understand that because it doesn't happen to you every day. Every day an African-American goes outside, we worry about death. Because we are targeted. We are profiled. FBI did an investigation where they had to shut down the police station I'm going to have to look it up but I, in, the, in what city it was, but I was reading about it, where they were profiling African-Americans. I think it was 3,000 African-Americans lived in this particular city, a little small town, I think, but they had $30,000, I mean, 30,000 in tickets. Come on. So that means you just constantly pulling people over and just drawing up Trump charges on African-Americans. I mean, this can go on and on. Michigan State. This is the worst since 99. 132 people were arrested. It was a tournament. People lost. They were mad over a fucking game. This is consistent. These are consistent riots from white folks. So it's like African-American riot. African-American riot. Caucasian riot, 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 riot. Always mad. But when we retaliate, it's a problem. No, the problem is, listen to us. Hear what we got to say. Because we try peace, peace doesn't work. We talk peace, you didn't hear it. We walk peace, you try to run us over. You don't care what we want. We don't have the same privilege in the land of the free we don't have the same freedom of speech or the freedom of expression because if we did, we wouldn't be called animals, we wouldn't be called niggas, we wouldn't be lynched, hung, burnt to death, boiled in oil, and all that other bad shit. You got to listen to us because with an African-American man, woman, and child, 
so much pain. We got so much pain. And y'all need to hear that. Those people in Baltimore, listen to their pain. 